My name is Justine, Justine Williams, and this year we went on a holiday of a lifetime to Australia. We went straight to Kate at Travel Counsellors. We've known her for years. She's a close friend of the family, and she just put together the perfect itinerary for us. We included Sydney, seen the Great Barrier Reef, seen the koala bear, seen everything everybody wants to do in Australia. When we arrived in Brisbane, it was all very exciting. We were going to go out to a, a, an island. They've got wild dolphins that you can feed. We were going to go whale watching. And uh, we arrived on the island and uh, our son was ill almost immediately. He was becoming really anxious about being alone, going places. Um, his personality had just really, really altered. So we decided on the Monday that we needed to get him to A&E and they started their tests. They did blood tests and urine tests and CAT scans. They wanted to double check that it wasn't things like a brain tumour. We were just suddenly, we were literally on the other side of the world, feeling really, really alone. We needed a friendly voice, but we also needed help. So Kate was the first one we, we spoke to. I've known the Williams family for about 20 years, so we go back a long way. I just remember sitting there and thinking, I don't know what to do now. Um, you know, my friends are the other side of the world. I want to help them. I want to be there. So I phoned, first port of call, I phoned our duty office, um, and they were absolutely fantastic um, and advised me, you know, they would be there, whatever needed doing, any flights that needed rebooking, um, they were there as a point of contact. Um, I then went onto our message board, went onto the Australian section and just basically put out a plea for help. And within 24 hours, I had a whole list of travel counsellors from Australia that were saying, I can help, I can help. Um, and then one was right by the hospital, a lady called Hayley. Um, and she just came back and said, Kate, I'm here, I can do whatever you, you need me to do. Um, I can go and visit the family in hospital. I saw Kate post a message on our message board. It immediately rang home to me as I had children the same age and I couldn't imagine being in a new city and having someone being so unwell. I just sort of said I can get there quickly if need be. I just wanted to help them if I could and make them feel more comfortable in being that they didn't know anybody here. The help that we were offered was just incredible. Once the booking was made, I thought that was it. There you go, off you go, have a nice holiday. Thank you very much. But the fact that they were there for us while we were away and in need of help was, was fantastic. It was just wonderful to know that there was somebody there for us on the other side of the world. It was wonderful. And we just worked together as a team. The time difference didn't matter. She was there when I was asleep, I was there when she was asleep. Um, and it, it, it worked really well. The whole community just sort of came together as one. And there was somebody there 24 hours a day, which is what they needed. You know, it's the friendship that you've got on the other side of the world. I've worked for a lot of large organisations and the culture at Travel Counselors is extremely different. From what I've seen in my eight years, there's never a time where there's been no help for a client. There's always someone at a different time of the day to help. I've found the perfect place to work. We had another two and a half weeks all together once Harvey came out of hospital. So we, we finished our holiday together, which was, which was lovely. It was a syndrome called Klein-Levin syndrome, which nobody had ever heard of, but it was just a relief to be able to put a name to it and, and know that he was going to recover. He's back at college and we're all moving on with our lives and can look back on the holiday that it didn't, it didn't quite go to plan, but it was still a great holiday for us. I would feel happy going anywhere in the world now if, with travel counsellors you know you can call them and they're there to help you.